Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'll show you how to use the Adventure Kids camera system to create different profiles and camera behaviors. So we'll open up our character blueprint and we'll add another component called Adventure Kid Camera Controller. Now this camera controller works in conjunction with the Adventure Kid Player Controller, so we need to make sure that the game type Game, game mode has our uh, Adventure Kit controller as well. And now the controller has different configurations, so presets for third person, first person, shoulder camera, and you can firstly set each, each configuration can have a name, and then each configuration has a field to put in the camera that one that should be controlled by this profile. So we'll put in follow camera. This is our default camera that the character has already. We want this to be uh, not ignored by cycling through the profiles automatically and we don't want the camera to be clamped and while in this mode the character should orient itself to the movement direction and not to the controller rotation. Then we'll add another camera for our shoulder. For that we'll add a spring arm component and we'll move the spring arm to the shoulder, set a distance of about 100 and add another camera onto the spring arm make sure it is attached to the spring endpoint and the spring arm should use the pawn control rotation in order to actually look in the direction we want it to look at. We'll rename this shoulder camera so the pre-configured profile for shoulder takes the camera component. So this is a bit different in this instance the rotation jaw is taken for the character and it's not orient it doesn't orient itself to the movement. And lastly we'll add another camera. This will be our first person cam oh, without the comma. And this will be attached to the mesh and on the mesh it will be attached to the head. The camera should use the pawn control rotation so it always looks in the correct direction and we need to tell our controller that our first person camera is called first person cam. The orientation is clamped to the socket or let's just clamp it to the actor instead and here are the different angles that the character maximum can look at and while in first person the character should orient itself according to the rotation of the controller. Okay, uh, before we can switch through the different modes we actually need to tell the controller to do so. So we have an event for that called next camera. This is just an input event bound to tab by default. Um, you can use any key you want for that and we take a reference to our camera controller and call next camera on it. So this will cycle through the different configurations unless they are ignored according to the flag. Okay, so if I now hit tab, the character as you can see has now entered the shoulder camera and orients itself to the controller jar and if I go in first person and enter the ledge then the character is um, restrained to the ledge and if I look right or left the, ca the camera doesn't go further. One last thing. The character controller also has the camera controller also has um, input variables for the speed so how fast the camera should change. Now if you set this to zero 
then the camera will say change instantly. Or you can of course make it way slower and the camera will take much longer to actually change. But that's your choice. Okay, and this is how to implement cameras. Of course you can also add new configurations for new cameras like my custom cam and the controller also has the possibility to set a certain profile by name. So set active config by name and if you put in third person then the camera controller will use this profile here. And that's how cameras work. Thanks for watching.